Me being like the number two player in the country, that don't mean nothing to me. When you step on the court, nothing matters to me. When the clock says zero, zero, and when the clock ends, we play. The ball tips up, we're playing. I'm definitely Atlanta made. It's like an environment you can't leave. It's something about Atlanta. Raven Johnson, AKA Hollywood, class of 2021, from Atlanta, 404, baby. You know the vibe. Raven's one of the top point guards in the country. And Raven walked in as a freshman, uh, as our point guard. And we had only gone through a few summer league games. And she looked at me one day, she said, Coach, I'm gonna win a championship for these seniors. I said, okay. Cause I knew she was gonna be my starting point guard, leave no doubt. She didn't start the first three games cause I didn't want to shock her. I didn't think I was gonna start because our team was loaded. We had like eight seniors. In my head, I'm very competitive, so anything I do, I'm going to compete. <laughs> when I got to the school, I competed for the point guard spot, and little do you know, I, I started. I was nervous at first, but I just let the game come to me. I just played. I had so much pressure put on her in order to run our team. I'm like, we got one mission, <laughs> that's to win a championship. Hurry up, you on my time. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Circle in the middle, let's go. Let me get the clock. You scared of me, Coach? <laughs> if you keep jumping, I'll be scared. Faster. We ain't going to the park. Come on, give me some skips. Is it hot in here? I'm just... Yeah, it's hot in here. I'm gonna put my bikini on in a minute. We don't wanna see that one. I've been, I've been training right for, for about three years, and she was actually probably the, you know, the first girl that I, that I actually trained. People were kind of asking me, uh, I, I, they were telling me that I need to get her in the gym. And I was like, you know, I really don't deal with the girl side like that, but I just saw like the hunger in her eyes, like she really wanted to get out there. And one day she just happened to be in the gym, and I had some guys that I was training, and I was one short. So I, I, I called her on the court to uh, compete against some guys. Just initially when she, when she grabbed the ball and she like put a move on the guy, and I was like, Oh, okay. Like she can really play. From that point forward, I was like, any, you know, anybody that just has a love for the game and a passion for the game, um, I, I can work with. At the end of the day, and uh, from that day forward, I think we were, we were in the gym, and uh, and I, I really I really enjoyed being with her, man, because she she really like loved the game of basketball, loved the game of basketball. Man, this man did so much for me. He put confidence in me. Before I started coming to him, I didn't have a shot. I knew I didn't have a shot. When I started coming to him, it was so hard. The drills were hard. Station drills with the dribbling was hard. Like I was like, I can't do this. I kept doubting myself. We kept pushing, the days went by. He started putting confidence in me. My shot started getting better, and you saw it in the game, and we just gradually increased and increased. Raven, you know, she was like naturally a floor general when I met her already. She could get to the cup, but she did not use her left hand. So <laughs> two of the main things that I really wanted to hone in on is working on her uh, shot mechanic and also working on finishing with her offhand. Giving her an array of skill finishing moves. I really saw a big change in her uh, <laughs> since, since we've been working together. Once we get in the gym and you know those reps start okay, to add up, you can start feeling yourself getting better. I think it adds another layer of confidence in her game. You can see from her rankings, you know, she jumped from you know mid like 50s or 40s to now she's number two in the country. And it's really because she put the work in. Like she's one of the few kids that I've actually, actually been around that I don't have to call to get in the gym. And that's just a testament of how, how much she really truly loved the game. Man, shoot what? What? 
Yeah, right. <laughs> Red, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, so why don't I do this? Why don't I see if I can get a follow-up conversation? What would you say was your favorite memory over the past three or four years? I would say AAU. Winning the first unarmed national championship. You know, my, my pitch to them was, she, she's a really good kid, and I wanted to be the first stop for her once she stopped playing with boys. She officially came FBC sixth grade year. From sixth grade to now, we've been, you know, kind of building this thing and mixing and matching the talent and of uh, the young kids that she started with. She was the first girl I love all of them, what, eighth grade, end of eighth grade, ninth grade, to go up to the R United Division, which was our 17 year team. So she's been our point guard for our United Division for the last four years. It's almost like she's been playing 17 U forever. Well, that's the good thing about AAU. It's not just one player on the team or two people on the team that can play. With well, AAU, everybody on the court can play. It's not, it's not easy, like you have to work. Like every game is competitive. That's the good thing about AAU. You play and get competition and you get challenged. And that's when like the scouts come out to see you, you play the best of the best. And it's really fun. Like for me, with my AAU team, the last, you know, the last AAU team I had for, McDonald All Americans on my team, so. That year, I'll say it was fun for me. That was my year of growing. They helped me grow, and they gave me a lot of confidence also. Well, every kid that was with us with that group, you know, signed Division I. Raven ended up charting out the highest of them all. But at the end of the day, you know, when you get kids that young that you can kind of connect with and build something with, it's always a little more special. And in Atlanta, She's a natural, real city kid, an inner city kid. Um, she is one and she's representing the city and she's been representing West Lake and everything in a, a real positive fashion. I say West Lake is like a mini HBCU. It's really like litty. When you come to West Lake, you just think of family, a culture. I feel like it's like a mini HBCU because we did things like what um, fam you did. Like we we all come together. The fans, the fans, they support each sport: football team, basketball team, baseball. It don't matter what sport they they're there. The principal, our beloved principal that just died, I say he's the best principal because of the things we did, like we had parades. We just did different stuff in the middle of our school. Everybody meets up in the middle and we just chat, everybody vibe. It's just different. I feel like Whistler is so different. That was a blowout. Oh, Cole, baby, you see the scope? <laughs> it's something about Atlanta. I feel like we produce the best athletes, boys, girls, football. People coming out of here as like Ted Cooper, Asia Durr, um, Maya Moore, the boys, you got, of course, Anthony Edwards, Cam Newton, Dwight Howard, and more. I feel like we produce the best athletes. I don't know how I'm gonna do leaving the city of Atlanta because I don't know, I just love Atlanta. Right here on the right of us, this is where, this is Cafe. That's where the movie um, ATL was filmed, right here. You know, a lot of people when they come here with Atlanta, they be like, oh my gosh, Atlanta's like so, they say we're so busy, or they be like, Atlanta's beautiful. Like, it's a vibe, like, when you come to Atlanta, you just, like, you fall in love with it, so. Obviously, we know that you've chosen South Carolina. What was the big exciting factor about that well, it came, actually came down to South Carolina and another school. So, um, I didn't go on a visit to the other school. You know, COVID happened, so I had to make my choice off what I knew. 
in South Carolina. I, I just fell in love with a uh, school when I went to the UConn versus South Carolina game. And the way they play, that's just my style of play. And they're gritty on defense. And the way they run their sets on offense, that's my style of play. And also Dunn Staley, I feel like she's the coach. She reminds me of my AU coach, Coach Mo, and a little bit like my high school coach. They're, they're both crazy. So I feel like Dunn Staley can push the best side of me and get me to where I want to be. And plus her being a point guard coach, me being a point guard, I feel like I can do a lot of things and we can win national championship. National championships with the S. This season, expectations are still high, even though we're going through the COVID right now. You know, we've won three straight state championships. And this team right here wants the fourth championship. It'll be the first in Westlake history. We went undefeated for the second one, which was a, a miracle. We just kind of rolled through it. The next thing we knew, we were undefeated. And right now, we are 90-0 in the state of Georgia. We have not lost in the state in three years. Raven and Brianna are the two people who, if we win another one, will be the fourth one. They are committed. It has not been easy. It sounds easy when I'm saying this. That first one was probably the hardest one of all. It took a lot of prayer and a lot of love for these girls to find a way to say, I want to win the championship more than I care about my individual stats. So this group right here, Raven and Brianna, who have three rings, those two would graduate with four rings. This is the mission in their eyes. As long as they're believing, I'm on the bandwagon believing too. Because without that strong leadership of the girls believing, my belief falls short. I can't make them play. I can't give them that heart. I can't give them my heart. That heart has to be within them to do something that's never been done in Westlake history.